welcome to the third episode of Husker Dive. I'm here with Sadie again, uh, my sister and the editor, also co-host, and Courtney Wallace of the Nebraska softball team. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so this is really a podcast where we just get to know the athletes more than what they do on the field, but really just get to know um, who they are and in a more personable level. So, um, Courtney, I just have a quick question for you, kind of related to softball, but I was doing like a little research and I saw that you had all this big list of awards that you had won over the last year or two or whatever. And I saw you won the gold glove. You were academic, all big 10 in 2021 and 22. You were the Sam Fultz 27 hero leadership award. You were a big 10 all tournament team. And then in high school, you were the Nebraska Gatorade softball player of the year. So just a question I had for you, which first, congratulations, that's a lot. <laughs> um, but which of those like means the most to you and why? Um, for sure, the Sam Fultz Award, just because I think sometimes it's hard as an athlete to really figure out who you are outside of your sport. And I think um, in that time of my life, I got that like, kind of right after COVID and it was a lot of the time we were dealing with, um, everything that was going on with like Black Lives Matter. And that was something that I was super focused on in doing. And that was something that I put my interest in when I didn't have softball to, um, like figure out who I was as a person and what I believed in. And I felt like it was important for me to stand up for what I believe in. I mean, I'm a black woman, you know? So I felt like it was important for me to speak my piece and finally say how I felt about things because in high school, I went to a predominantly all white high school. And when I got here, it was kind of a culture shock. I'm not going to lie. Um, mm-hmm. But I would have to say that one is probably the most important out of all the um, athletic accolades. I mean, even just being like a Big Ten all academic or anything like that. Anything I've exceeded outside of softball has been more important to me than what I've done um, athletically. Yeah, for sure. Because that speaks to more like who you are rather than what you can do. Yeah. Um, So with the Sam Fultz Award, is that just like what what is that given for? So Sam Fultz, um, if you know, I'm assuming you know about Sam Fultz and his family came up with um, the Sam Fultz team and it happens every year. Different members are selected, but it's um, people who pretty much go above and beyond um, with volunteering outside of what you do, I guess, on a daily basis. So we have Tom Osborne team and then like Sam Fultz is the next step. And then we have like a hero leadership award after that. And um, it goes all the way up to like heart and soul, which is like you've exceeded like more than the Sam Fultz award. But um, so pretty much just volunteering and like being involved in the community. Sweet. That's awesome. Did you do most of that independently or was that like with your team or? Um, we do do some team events, but a lot of it is um, like if you go out and volunteer on your own, those count, those events count. So you just kind of like write them in an Excel sheet or um, team events count, any type of um, outreach counts. So even mm-hmm. like writing letters to our boosters and like thanking them, that counts as uh, a Tom Osborne event. Sweet. That's awesome. What type of, what type of um, outreach work were you doing? Like, does it correlate with your major? Was it just community work or what? It was mostly just community work. Um, During that time when I got Sam Fultz, it was we had created MSAC, which was the Minority Student um, Athlete Collective. We didn't have one. So we kind of created that. It was me and five other athletes. Um, And that was my, like, biggest role of things that I was doing during COVID and during that time. Um, We've had, like, this past year a teammate – reach out to a nursing home and she created a pin pal program. So something along the lines of that is like our team is involved in that, but um, really any outreach in the community. Yeah, that's sweet. And does that like mean, cause you're from Lincoln, right? I'm from Omaha. Omaha. Okay. So does it mean more to you like being involved in the community in Lincoln when you're from the state of Nebraska or, or is it, would it be the same no matter where you were at? Um, I feel like it means more to me personally. I mean, like you said, I'm from here. Like, mm-hmm. um, I know a lot of little girls that come to the games and they kind of know who I am or know that I went to Papio or even their parents. And like, it means a lot to me to even be able to have a conversation with them because I know with like bigger sports, it's hard sometimes. But 
I would say something about me and just our team in general is like we're very personable and like always wanting to be out in the community with people and talking with them and them really getting to know us. So I feel that that's super important to me to be able to be out and connect with fans and little girls and things like that. Yeah, for sure. And I saw toward the end of your guys' year, like you had a couple of games where it was like almost sold out at your state or it was sold out at your guys' games, the home games. Yeah. Um, was that cool? Like, because then you probably got more fan interaction like after the game. And I mean, it was like, just describe that. Yeah. So uh, I guess in the past years before this year, like Nebraska softball hasn't really done what they needed to do. Um, we weren't really winning. And I knew that when I came here, one of my biggest goals was to like pack the stadium again, because the last time that's happened was like 2016. And to be able to be a part of the change in this program and to be able to say like, I did that or we did that, that's like, that's literally everything I've asked for. Um, and that's why I stayed, you know, and that's mm -hmm. why I'm from here and I came here was to do that. And that's, um, that's really important to me. Yeah, for sure. And like, not only just on the, like on the field, but also off the field, it sounds like you're making an impact both on and off, which is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so going to Nebraska, what is your major and post softball? Like, do you have any goals or aspirations after college with softball? Um, and then post whenever all that's done, what is your goals? Um, so I graduated with my bachelor's in communications with a minor in psych. I'm currently enrolled in a higher um, educational administration, a higher ed program. Um, so I'll do that. Um, I have a year of eligibility left um, after softball's done. If I were to possibly get drafted, I mean, that's something that I'd be totally interested in. Um, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind playing after I'm done. Um, my body's old, but I would do it. Um, but my main goal, like I'm right now, I'm interning in the communications department for athletics and my like main goal is to like SID, which would be um, kind of like dealing with stats and being a part of the sport still, or honestly, any sports is something that I'm interested in doing, but um, pretty much anything in communications, I'm doing the master's program because I wanted to coach at one point and I still mm -hmm. need to, I just don't know. Yeah. Um, I plan to GA somewhere. Um, I haven't really like look to reach out to anybody but that's my goal to like finish my master's program so that's yeah that's nice master's. Sadie was uh she she's a college athlete and she was thinking about doing GA for a while too yeah I I think it's something that if you're interested in sports like I would do that or if interested in coaching um I know a big part of it they like pay for your master's program some of it or like tuition and things like that so that's also another reason why like I'm not going to pay out of pocket for it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, what's life like outside of softball for you? Ooh. Um, lately, it's been, I've been on this journey of self-care and finding myself. Um, this is probably the first time in 17 years I've actually taken a break from softball and not picked up a ball in eight weeks. I don't plan to pick up a ball until July 18th, so I mean, this is the first time I'm really getting to rest and heal and enjoy my time off and sit and binge Netflix and eat whatever I want and <laughs> sleep in late however I want. So right now it's been very, very relaxed, very chill, very calm. Um, usually during season, I'm very stressed out just mm -hmm. because that's just what it is. It's always like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't do much. I live by myself. I have a dog. Um, a lot of the time it's practice for five hours and I'm at home mm -hmm. doing homework. So um, I try to find time to do things I like, like paint or go get coffee or do whatever mm -hmm. I like to do, but read. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's really what it's like. Yes. What what type of dog do you have? <laughs> um, He's a Shipu. He's tiny. He's a little black dog. His name's Prince. Oh, yeah. What are you, what are you binging on uh, Netflix right now? Well, I was trying to finish Criminal Minds before it got taken off Netflix again, which I've rewatched that a lot. Mm. Um, and then um, right now I'm watching Night Watch on Hulu, which is like about paramedics and EMTs. Okay. And then I'll, I'll find something else. Have you okay. watched Stranger Things? No, but I need to watch that. I can't oh. not watch any of it? No, never seen it. 
Oh, that's that's a hot take right there. <laughs> that is a hot take. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> I could watch it. Why? Why haven't you? Let me. Let, I let felt me like ask. the first episode. It was. I just couldn't get into it. Okay. But that was also like th- two, three years ago. So. That's oh, the, la- the first season and this last season are definitely the best. I think. Okay, so I should watch it then. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably start that. That give you a lot of many hours because actually, I think the next like season, second part of the season comes out in July, so it'll be five. July first. I've seen that. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, I keep hearing people talk about it, but I just never got into it. Oh, yeah. it's good. I okay. think the third season's not the best, but I don't okay. remember the seasons. It's a good show, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here, here's a here's another question for you. So we asked this yes we uh we recorded an episode yesterday as well with Sam Griesel from basketball, mm-hmm. and he had a strong opinion on this. I know Sadie's a strong opinion. I do too. We asked what what's better, Qdoba or Chipotle? Oh. I would say Chipotle just because I don't eat mm-hmm. a lot. Um, Chipotle is like fast. We always eat it on the road. But mm-hmm. I mean, I'll eat I'll eat Cordoba like if it's there. I just like not going to go out of my way to go get it. Chipotle is just like right there. So it's so much it's better. Faster option. Have you ever had what, what's the restaurant he said? Say agave, agave or something? Agave. agave. Is that fire? He was telling us like that's a really that's really okay good. i think it's better than chipotle oh and cheaper and that's a hot take i think it's better than chipotle and cheaper more it's less expensive that's what i think really we're gonna have to, we don't have them where we're from Mm-mm. so i don't think Mm-mm. but i think they just built it too like this is maybe like the first second summer they've had it in lincoln wow it's good we all go to nebraska for i know right <laughs> i got it <laughs> i don't know so wait what's your favorite food then um i really love pasta like i will eat pasta chicken alfredo shrimp crab like anything seafood related mm-hmm. i'm not really picky like i'll really eat anything i don't really have a favorite place i'll eat mcdonald's too like i don't care i'll mm-hmm. eat anything <laughs> yeah all right um, no i've got a question all right let's hear it so you said that you live by yourself but do, do you have siblings or do you yeah. yeah, I have a younger brother who's actually will move in with me in August. He'll be enrolled here mm. as a freshman. And then I have an older sister, and um, she's 28. And then I have an older brother who's around 26, 27. Okay. So, yeah. But me and my younger brother uh, will live together. So, we'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <I'll> tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a question. So, I've gone to a few softball games at our old school. Sadie went with me uh to one of the games and (laughs) Sadie got so annoyed at the game because they it's a it's basically cheerleading in the dugout I feel like sometimes it what like what is going on yeah what's going on in the dugout (laughs) like volleyball does the same thing where after every play or whatever you guys call it in softball Mm -hmm. volleyball there's like some sort of set cheer what is that I, I think, I mean, our team doesn't cheer as much, but there are some teams that are annoying and that will cheer. Um, and it is very immature, but I don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> Does it throw you off when you're pitching? You're a pitcher, right? Yeah, no. I'll, a lot of the times I don't hear anything. Um, a lot of the times I can't hear anything. Uh, but we, don't, we don't cheer that much. We do cheer a little bit, but it's not, it's not as bad as like high school or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember Sadie sitting there during that game, I was just, and she was just mad. I like basketball. <laughs> so, like, we just, like, maybe we'll have, like, a chance, like, a good job high five. Yeah. But, like, over and over again, I was like, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, yeah. I've run out of a lot of things. Like, I've run out of stuff to say yeah. a lot of the time, so it's, like, repeating itself. But, no, we don't cheer that. We don't cheer that much. Well, good. Then you guys are already my favorite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is your, uh, what's like your best story from this last year? It could be the funniest, craziest, wildest, anything. I think I have two. Okay. So one, okay, they kind of go together though, so it's okay. So the first one was before the season started, we kind of had, and I think this is just like a kind of crazy, like, whoa mind-blowing story so before the season started we had these groups that we had to be in like on the team and we had to come up with a poster board for each month because 
February is different from May and June. Like May and June is like postseason time. February is like you're just kind of starting school, still trying to figure out school. So each group had to talk about what was happening in their month. Um, May is around Big Tens, and our May group posted, like, did their poster vision board. And on the bottom, it said, um, like, Nebraska beats Michigan in, in Big Ten tournament. And it was like a kind of like a, they made it look like a TV with like the scrolling on the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we like carried that, we kind of like went over them every month and like talked about them, whatever. So we get to May. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the tournament at this point. It's kind of just like you beat whoever you beat and it's bracketed. Well, Michigan ends up beating Northwestern in the semis, and we end up playing Michigan for the championship. And it's like, this is crazy. What? Like, who would have ever thought, you know, we'd end up playing them. We end up beating them. And it's just like, dude, that poster, like the whole year, it was just, it was crazy. The whole year we kind of like spoke things into existence and, I would just say that was probably one of the best seasons I've had here mm -hmm. in Nebraska. It was just awesome. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. I watched that game. I watched it. Mm -hmm. I, well, technically, my parents were watching it, and I just happened to be upstairs. But it was – you guys were lit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, was so it was fun. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, here's a question. So do you think – I hear all – like, one of my better friends plays softball at the school that I went to. Mm -hmm. Um and I hear that softball players say that hitting a softball is harder than hitting a baseball. And I have friends that play baseball that say hitting a baseball is harder than hitting a softball. What, what's your take on that as a pitcher? I think – I'm not going to say hitting a baseball is easier, but I think there's more time to react in a game of – like you're 60 feet away compared to 43 and like – our 70 mile an hour pitch is equivalent to a 90 mile an hour fast, you know, like a fastball. So I feel like, and a lot of the time, everyone's coming from the same arm slot in baseball where mm -hmm. everyone is throwing a rise ball and softball or a drop ball or curve. Like everything's coming from the same angle in baseball, but yeah, I'm, I don't know. Go mean, ahead and say like, well, hit, Okay. Yeah. I would say it's harder to hit a softball than it is to hit a baseball. Okay, I mean, okay. We hit baseball at practice, and I'm like, oh, this is what they're doing? Like, oh, okay. Like, this is okay. easy. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah, like, we're hitting, like, these light flight jug balls out of, like, a machine, and it's, like, <laughs> hitting people in the face and, like, doing all this crazy stuff. Shout out to Coach Miller. But <laughs> it's just, like, oh, I think it's easy. I think hitting a baseball is easier. Hey, just, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Say, do you got any questions? Um, I do. This is not on the topic of anything, but I see that you have your nails done. So, <laughs> so do I. I just did mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my question <laughs> is, what is your go-to color? Because it took me like ten minutes to pick my color today. Um, if you have right pick now. Yes. Because it's summer. I'm doing um anything on Pinterest. I see. So I got these right. Options. During season, I have dip and I do mostly ombre just because I like how it looks natural or I'll go red just because. That's fair. Yeah. I have a Pinterest board as well. So do you have a Pinterest girl? Like I love Pinterest. My wedding stuff is on there. Like I don't have a boyfriend or anything, but like for when I do, <laughs> it's on there. Like you, do you have boards? Are you ready? No, I don't have any boards. I kind of just type in like nail designs, okay, often style. But I'm a big TikTok person, and I save a lot of wedding stuff on TikTok. Okay. Also, a Sadie. Sadie's a big TikToker. I am. Yeah, a I, TikTok. love, I don't make a lot of TikToks, but I like I love TikTok, so I save a lot of stuff on there. So do I, but I feel like I met like I'll put it in my little bookmark, and then I will never look at it again. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have TikTok, but I do like the Instagram reels. So I see everything like two or three weeks after it's already been on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I got my parents were there. I was like, did you see this? I'm like, you're so late. You're <laughs> yeah. Um, here's a question that um you're the first girl we have on, so this is like amazing for me. Great. But here's my question. What celebrity would you consider a perfect 10? 10 out of 10. Michael B. Jordan. Really? That's a hot take. Actually, a hot take is I don't think Michael B. Jordan is attractive. Really? Well, what? I really don't. He I has don't. a celebrity crush. I guess. That's I a guess. quick answer. Yeah, I was already <laughs> ready for Michael Jordan. In Black Panther, he was very attractive. Okay, very. yeah. 
Yeah. But like know. everything else, I'm just kind of like, oh. Yeah. Poor guy just broke up with his girlfriend. So you've got a chance. You've got a chance. Go for it. <laughs> Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. <laughs> I, I support it. A shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought it was Do you watch Marvel movies? Um, a little bit. Okay. I think last year was the first time I watched like the Marvel movies from like the first one to the last one. Uh huh. And I thought they were really good. Um, mm. I liked them, but I'm not like a big like I didn't oh. see the new Marvel movie in theater. Who's Who's that your one. Who's your Marvel like? starting five if you had to take oh. them into battle sadie sadie ranked every single marvel character on who was the oh, best fighter movie movie yeah. movie 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 who, oh who? i don't watch it i don't watch it that much i don't even i don't even think i know their names <gasps> i know some <laughs> you just broke her heart <laughs> i know like some of their names but like i, don't, I wouldn't be able to rank them like you know, one okay, so what what's what's your movie like? Did you watch Twilight? Yeah, I've seen Twilight. Like, what's my like comfort movie? Yeah, what 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 do you go to? I don't have a comfort movie, but I have a comfort show, and it's probably Grey's Anatomy. Okay, I've never seen it. You never seen Grey's? I don't it's like a, it's a lot. lot of it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it yeah like probably. almost twenty seasons. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of shows. Who's your um, favorite Disney princess? Tiana. Tiana. Which one and is she? Princess and the Frog. Nathan, the only black one there is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know their names. <laughs> I don't know the like, princess. Really? I just know. <laughs> I'm your sister. <laughs> I, I, know, I don't know the princess's names. You Who's your least her. favorite princess? Oh, I don't have one. I kind of like them all, but she's just like. She's not here. No, there's an answer to least favorite. I don't think I've really. You sound like you have a least favorite. I do. I don't think I've ever. Beauty the Beast. That. You don't like Bill? Mm -mm. I don't mm -mm. think I've ever seen like Snow White. Then you know, like I really yeah. watched Snow White. But. Yeah. Snow White was Snow White has nothing to offer. Okay, so maybe she's my least favorite. Uh, I would have to agree with that. <laughs> Okay, this is a different question. What's your, if you could go for a week on a vacation, where would you go? You could go anywhere in the world and who would you bring? Ooh. Is this just like a vacation? Am I stranded or something? Or You're not stranded, a vacation. Um, <laughs> probably like Fiji or somewhere, maybe like okay. maybe Bora Bora, somewhere like that. And for a week? Maybe my sister. I think I get annoyed really fast with people, so I don't know if I can take like a friend or something. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I'd be like, okay, yeah, it's time to go. Um, yeah. Probably my sister. I don't get annoyed with her. There you oh, go. No, that's nice. I get annoyed with mine. Sisters or brother? Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, is there anything? This is back to more softball is there anything that a softball coach or a parent or any like a mentor has ever told you that stuck with you throughout your entire career yes um it was probably a coach I had in high school he used to talk to me about pressure a lot and he would just always say like like there's no like there's no pressure in this like pressures for people that don't have homes pressures for people that don't know how they're going to eat like this game is mm. supposed to be fun like this there's no pressure to this and I like always live by that when um, we have like new freshmen come in or people that are struggling like I always tell them that because they're like there shouldn't be pressure in your game like it should be fun and like softball is like the least Thing away from having pressure on your life so mm -hmm. I always I always look by that yeah yeah that's cool especially because it's such like a mental game too especially yeah. like as a pitcher mm -hmm. um what's your favorite what is your number one favorite pitch to throw and why it could be a fun reason it could be a serious reason whatever probably my change up just because it makes people look silly I mean I think I'm pretty good at it <laughs> um I get a lot of strikeouts on it I mean I like throwing my drop ball too, just because, um, 
we throw we 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 roll a lot of double plays in our infield. Our defense is pretty mm -hmm. solid. So I would have to say between those two. Okay. Um what is your okay, either your favorite type of music, uh favorite artist, or your walk-up song? Um Favorite type of music would probably be rap or R&B. I mean, I listen to pop too, but um, I'm not a big fan of country. Um, I'll listen to it, but it's not like, it's not on my playlist. Mm -hmm. um, my walk-up song for pitching is uh, Grinding All My Life by Nipsey Hussle. My hitting song is Big Timers. Um, Gator boots with the pink duck boots. See, that's my second one. <laughs> And then my other one is uh, Tell Me When to Go by E40. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm a big rap person. <laughs> yeah. Is there uh, any, like, is there any other sports that you really like to play or? Um, I ran like track in high school. Okay. Uh, I'd say I'm pretty fast, but um, I always wish I could have played volleyball, but it was just always during the same season in Nebraska, like softball's in the fall, volleyball's mm. in the fall. Um, but I like watching sports. I love watching baseball. Um, love watching football, basketball, college mostly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I love I love sports. I grew up in a sports household, so yeah. Do you go to a lot of like the other Nebraska sports, like their home yeah. games? Um, I go to football, obviously, um, and I like to support the women's basketball team. They are huge supporters of the softball team, so we mm, try. That's to cool try to repay the favor and go to that. I go, I watch a lot of baseball on the road just because we're always playing at the same time they are. And uh, mm -hmm. we, work out, we work out in the same facility. So a lot of us are cool with each other. Mm -hmm. Never been to a volleyball game. I feel like every time I try to go, it's like sold out or like standing room only. And we just practice. I'm not going in there to stand. Mm -hmm. Love them all though. And <laughs> um, I go to men's basketball. Mostly a lot of the sports I go to is when we're off, like during the winter. Okay, yeah. For sure. Um, what lessons has the game of softball or really anything, like what lessons have you learned the most throughout your career? Um, a couple. I mean, a lot. Like failure is okay. And like mm -hmm. you're going to be okay and you're going to get through it. A lot of things suck in life and like that's fine. Um. I think really one of them I'm learning right now is just like you really have to know who you are before doing anything. I think before getting into a relationship, getting into friendships, getting into literally anything, like it's important to know who you are as a person, as a woman, as a man, as anyone, you really need to know who you are, what's important to you, what are your values in life. As I'm getting older, I've realized that. Um, Competition is fun. You're, there's gonna be people that you don't like that you have to work with every day. Um, some days you're not gonna wanna get up and go and that's okay too. Um, I would say like being at Nebraska and just playing softball um, has like taught me so much. Like if I could go through every situation in my life that's happened in the last five years, like we'd be here for a while, but um, I've, I've learned so much. I've learned so much. It's, yeah. it's insane, honestly. The person that my parents dropped off five years ago is definitely not the person that's walking out, which is mm -hmm. awesome to see and awesome to recognize, too. And I think one of the biggest things is just, like, recognizing and celebrating, like, the little things. Like, that is something that is so important to me, whether it's for me or for someone else. Like, celebrating the fact that you got an A on your test, like, that is awesome. Like, don't push that under the rug or like that you got through that workout. Don't push that under the rug. Like that's important and that's going to, it's going to pay off later. So those are probably the biggest things. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Sadie, can you relate to that playing basketball at college? Oh yeah. I, and I'm, I'm a going to be a senior. So I'm just one year behind you. But if you, if you're not in tune with yourself and like, you don't, realize that you're more than just whatever the sport that you play you're gonna like everything's gonna consume you like you said the like the pressure and all that stuff and I had never heard 
that pressure thing. And that's something I'm about to take into my next season. Like, that's really good. But if you don't know who you are, like what you want, what you value, like everything's going to blur together and it's just going to, it's not going to make sense. You're just going to be like going through the motions almost. Yeah. And I think also when it's done, that transition is going to be so much harder. It's going to be so much harder when it's all said and done, when it's over, when you can't go back and play anymore. Right. And I see, I have some friends that are going through that right now and it is tough to watch. It's, it's hard and I feel, feel for them. But I think I've gotten to the point in my career where I'm like, softball is not everything. And I have dreams, goals, and aspirations um, for who I want to be after this is over. So I'm going to enjoy the last days of my career and go with the flow and be happy and like, it, you know, it is what it is. You mm-hmm. know, I've, I've, God puts you where he wants you to be and everything happens for a reason. And mm-hmm. if he wants me to have a great year, I'm going to have a great year. And if that's not my purpose, then that's just not it, you know? So that's, yeah. that's where I've been lately. And that can probably, like, that probably brings so much more joy to the, oh, yeah. not just like the sport, but like outside of the sport, that probably brings so much more joy and so much less pressure on life too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. For sure. All right, we got a few minutes left because Sadie and I didn't buy premium last night. <laughs> but um, Sadie, you got, you got more. You got any more questions? Um, let me see. Um, okay, so what is your? Ooh, how do I want to? I'm changing this up in my head. If you could wear one brand for the rest of your life what would it be like it's, you can only wear that brand it doesn't have to be athletic either if you could just wear one brand and you get it free but you get to wear whatever you want what would it be <laughs> i know i know yeah maybe like gucci okay okay maybe, probably gucci just because okay. you you got a lot of options i got shoes i got a bag I got, right i can always find oh no i can only wear that oh yeah that's the thing that's the kicker right there you can you uh-huh. have to wear the they got jeans don't they they got jeans yeah but like gucci okay jeans. okay gucci yeah we're gonna go with gucci okay all right i got all you can always switch it up i got you yeah, that's- yeah I'm, I'm set i got shoes i got a purse right and if you wanted to sell it you could sell it for a lot of money okay yeah yeah there we go (laughs) what's what's your dream car to go along with that oh i've always been obsessed with g-wagons but they're really bad on gas but i have always been obsessed with g-wagons what what color i need to know the color a black one probably red interior this is my girl right here (laughs) that's what i'm saying bro every time i go to california i'm like i want it i want it i want it do you, they're so bad on gas though but like it's not your everyday yeah. car right it's just i think they're discontinued car. oh really yeah i think only like the rich rich people can get them now if you can afford it you're not worried about the price of gas right, right that. exactly. <laughs> that's bad. but if not like because that's not like your everyday car right you just kind of right. just kind of flexing it right my second car i'd probably get like a convertible benz or a bmw or something okay very cute small uh, I'm yeah. actually vibing with the um, Broncos right now. Like, really? The, those uh, are those are cute, yeah. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah. The Ford Broncos? Like the new ones that came yeah. through? Yeah, well, those are nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, we got just like two minutes left. Um, so I have a question. Sadie, do you have any last ones? Take it away, bud. All right, so I got two questions I try to ask everybody on here. Um, what is life advice that you have for people listening? And then the second part to this question is this, is there anything you want to tell Nebraska fans? Ooh, okay. My life advice would be never to sacrifice your happiness for someone else. Never sacrifice your own happiness for someone else. I think it's important to do what you want, say what you want. If you meant it, like say it, say how you feel. That's, I'm a big, very blunt person. Um, 
um, one thing I want to tell Nebraska fans. Um, I think just like, thank you. Thank you for the support over the five, last five years of my career. Thank you for the support last year from this season. Um, I'm really excited to see um, Husker fans pack bowling again. Um, I mean, I'm excited to see Husker fans at football games again. Um, and honestly, everywhere, but honestly, just thank you. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Even when people don't say it, we really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, go to Gred. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, Nebraska needs to support their women's teams, especially because they've been kicking sure. butt the last few years. They have been kicking butt. Basketball, yeah, softball. I don't even like football. That's the money maker. Oh, that's the money maker. I don't even like the football team. That's, that's a hot take. And I'll tell them tomorrow when we have the episode with them. <laughs> That'll be my hot take. I'm going to be like, here's my hot take. I don't even like football. <laughs> They're like, uh, yeah Yeah, that's the money maker though but you know it is but hey the women's sports have been super successful and everybody does everybody's putting in time everybody's putting in effort everybody deserves the support um so yeah go support the softball team next year all right well thank you for joining us we really appreciate it you're welcome back anytime um and yeah any last words or you guys oh, good? I appreciate you for having me on. I had fun. This was yeah. Fun. Thank you. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. All right. See ya. See ya. Thank you.